Good morning. Today we're going to talk about the cold wheel. So the core wheel is actually a pretty simple and effective training tool and it goes way beyond the six pack because the movement engages also your shoulders and your legs and it gives you a good stretch. <laughs> and today we're gonna dive right into the proper use of a core wheel. So let's go. So our core wheel has basically two settings, a narrow one and a wide one. And you can adjust them by simply unclicking these spaces with this satisfying noise. But the narrow one has a little bit more instability that engages your core a little more. And the white one offers a little bit more stability, meaning it's a little bit easier. And that's the one we're gonna start with now. Go on your knees, have the wheel right under your shoulders, make sure your back is straight and not too much arched in any direction. Because you're not a cat. And then you simply get your heels together and start rolling forward. You don't have to do a full rollout straight from the beginning, just start within your comfort zone. And as the time goes by, you can go more and more forward, more and more forward. And the ultimate goal is to get a full range of motion with the full rollout, where your face almost touches the ground. For me, it's a little bit easier because I have a big nose. And there's a cheat code for this, because if you combine it with the band, you can simply attach the band to the core wheel and to your feet and the band will simply support you it's so much easier that way and by the time you get better you can leave the band away bring the core wheel back to the narrow setting and then you can start playing around with the direction of the core wheel because now you can simply steer as on a bicycle or motorcycle or whatever you want and start going sideways just uh like that you'll feel it it is engaging the sides way more <laughs> and then it's actually time for the hard stuff and therefore we have some preps to do because right now we're not going to be on our knees anymore we're going to do it right from the stand all the way to the rollout and therefore it is really good to start with a, something like an extended plank that's actually a good preparation for the next move. And here are two ways to do it. One is without a band, which is even harder, and one is with the support of the band. And there we can profit again from our little spacers. So let's switch back to the white setting. Put the band under your feet, attach the band to the core wheel right in the middle, and then you simply start from the standing position. Wheel down and extend. Obviously, this is pretty tough to do, but it's damn effective. And for those who want to be even more hardcore, put the band away. Put a narrow setting, just like this. And then you can start from a standing position and simply roll out and see how far you can make it. And for this movement, you don't even have to come all the way back. You simply can lay down flat, get up again, and do the same procedure again. Because this way, you're going to prepare your muscles for that full range of movement without a band. And as everything, it takes time, but staying consistent will get you there. So uh, let's see how far I can make it. Wheel on the ground and let's see. <sighs> it's far as that. And one more time. <clears throat> it's still a work in progress, but you know, one day we'll get there. So thanks for watching and enjoy your core wheel. Let us know how you like the call in the comments and see you next time.